happy new year guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be teaching us how i achieve this femme cage sleeve without stress so if it's what interests you stick to the video and let's do this together don't forget to subscribe and like comment if you have any question below thank you so i'll be drafting the sleeve first on the paper gum i have six inches for the the wideness of the cage but i'm going to draft out seven inches which has my sewing allowance so i will go ahead and mark out seven inches mark it straight down seven inches then go down again and mark seven inches then i'll take my ruler and connect all my points together After connecting all the points, the several inches that I mark, after connecting it together, I'll go ahead now and cut, cut it out separately. So this is what I have after I cut it out separately. Then now I will take the measurements of the cage, like the sleeve. You know when you're measuring this sleeve you just place your ruler and your tape rule at the center of the bust then take it back then this is determine how wide you want yours to be so after taking my own measurements I want the wideness to be 30 so the length of the cage for me and the one I'm going to be using is 30 so yours when you are measure, taking your measurement ensure to get how wide you want it well then measure it to the back the center of the back so i mark out the 13 then i added two inches allowance because i'll be folding it in at the tip so together the length everything i have now i have 32 so as you can see now i folded my paper into two just to secure the center to know where the center is and this is the center by ensuring the mouth meets the second one so i after getting the center so what i'm going to do if you look through very well the sleeve it's like the center of the cage it's a bit wider than than the the tip which is the mouth so i'm going to be removing so i'm going to be removing one inch from both sides so after removing the one inch i'll take my ruler and connect from that place to the center of my paper just as you see me do I'll just connect it straight to the center of the paper in a slant I will slantly connect it to the center of the paper if you look through the sleeve very well you will see that the center is a bit wider yes So I'll take my scissors now and cut it off just as you see me do, do for the both sides too. So after cutting it, you see what I have, I have that slant effect. After cutting it out, I'll transfer my paper draft to the fabric I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using this burnt orange. I will lay the burnt orange is its dull face so i'll lay it on the table i'll place my paper the one i drafted out already i'll place it on the fabric you can see this is the center i still have my seven inches intact just from the down part that i removed that one inch one inch 
and one inch from both sides making it two inches so i have two already removed so i have five left on the down part so you can see i've cut it out on the fabric and this is on my lining too i've cut it out too on my lining i'll go ahead and gum this paper stain on the lining then on the main fabric which is doll face i'll go i will gum the s stain or clothes stain whatever you know it as it will help secure the surface of my material and it will make it look rough so on the lining now i'm going to be working with this bunny this this bunny you can sew on it so i'll be working again with the this ribbon so it's the ribbon i'm going to sew straight on the lining and this is the strategy i use i just i marked out one inch from both sides of my lining the one i gummed the gum stay on just as you are seeing now i mark one inch here then go to the other side and mark one inch you know the wideness of the ribbon is just one inch so again after marking the one inch i marked in inward again one inch just as you are seeing now then i mark again one inch i connect that one inch straight to the other edge of my lining do the same for the other side so after connecting it you know the wideness of the ribbon is just one inch and the bony i'm going to be using is 0 0.3 I will sew i'll go ahead now and sew straight from that one inch i marked down i'll straw it i'll sew it together with my ribbon i'm going to show us this thing why sewing it so this is it i have it on my sewing machine so on that one inch that i marked already i'll just place my ribbon but i'm not going to place the ribbon on the edge I'll, i'm going to shift and leave some allowance at the side then the line i drew already will guide me so i'm going to sew it straight even the one inch i left at the both side will help me also when i'm turning it out with the main fabric Um, you can see the bony I'm using is 0 0.3. I like using this bony because no matter how long the clothes stay, it will like the cage will still be standing very well. So I like using this. But if you are using the other bony, which you can just directly sew on it, you can go ahead. But I prefer using this one. So you can see the second one after measuring my cage which is 0 0.3 so as you can see i stitched the second line leaving like 0 0.5 in between the two stitches i have there so that by the time i fix in my plastic my bony is going to fit in smoothly and it will be easier for me to put in i did the same thing in three places on the lining i'm going to bring in the main fabric which is the door face then place it right side facing right side on the lining i'll go ahead and stitch it straight with 0 0.3 stitching allowance then on the edge too i will stitch one part and leave the other open so this is the edge remember i added two inches plus the 30 which is the length the main length of the cage so i'm going to stitch the side then flip it again to the other side and stitch it straight down i will do the same for the both sides just leaving one of the the down parts open remember i've stitched up the one one of the edge so this is what i have after i've trimmed out all the excesses so i have one mouth open and from this is fr from here i'm going to be turning it out so i'll just put in my hand and turn it out and if you are doing a cage that is very simple you just look for something else and use and push out from inside out 
so i'm going to be using my hands as you are seeing me doing it now so after doing that you take it out your pressing table and iron it thoroughly iron it till it becomes very flat and as you can see my door face is still smooth that's why i recommend you to use that air stain don't use paper gum on the main fabric so that you not have raw full you can see the paper where i gum the paper how rough it is but if you use air stain or the clothes stain it's going to give you a very neat surface i often see some cages looking so rough don't make that mistake try to use air stain on the main fabric so after i'm done turning this out guys if you watch to this point please subscribe and like the video thank you so i'm going to be I didn't iron here, but later on I'll iron. For the sake of the video, I just go ahead to the next step. So I'm going to be fitting in, putting in the cage straight. Then the edge of the cage, I'm going to burn it. And if you are putting cage, leave like, like since the length is 30, you can just cut like 25. After putting your bony, just fold in the mouth inside and stitch it if you've watched this video to this point thank you very much please like comment and share with your friends see you in my next video shalom